In this video, we will learn about types and levels of measurement. Data can be put into categories such as words or numbers, countable and uncountable, and into levels of measurement. Data can be words or numbers. Qualitative data refers to descriptive measurements, typically non-numerical. Qualitative data would be things like these marbles are white, these are yellow, orange. Qualitative data is measurements in words only. Quantitative data refers to numerical measurements. Quantitative data can be discrete or continuous. Those terms will be explained in just a moment, but quantitative refers to numbers, such as there's two white marbles. The two is quantitative. The number of marbles here in the orange set is six. Quantitative refers to numbers. Data can also be discrete or continuous. Discrete means a countable or limited number of possible descriptive or numeric values. Continuous means there's really theoretically at least, an infinite number of possible numeric values. Continuous data is essentially always quantitative. By discrete, we mean that we can count the number of elements, objects, uh, observations, or people in our data set. For example, this cup of marbles contains 20 marbles. That's discrete. We can count the number of marbles. The boundary between discrete and continuous can be a little bit fuzzy. The rice in this cup could be counted, at least theoretically. It would take a while. But it is discrete in that there are individual grains of rice. At a smaller particle size, however, this cup of flour, one could no longer count the number of particles of flour. We've moved from discrete, the marbles, to a more continuous variable, the amount of flour in the cup. And carried even further, there would be no way to begin to try to count the number of particles in this cup of tea. There are four levels of measurement, as we refer to them. The four levels are nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. The nominal level of measurement means in name only, as in its qualitative data and its discrete data, and our data is usually just words. Words such as orange green, blue, that's nominal level data, or we might have nominal in the sense of two of these class objects are round marbles, the other two are not round glass decorative beads. Words are nominal level data. At the next level, ordinal level data, we have words, but we can put the words in order. You'll see here I have marbles from smallest to largest. They can be put in order from the smallest marble to the largest marble. There's small, the uh, smallest, and slightly larger, slightly larger, and larger. They're arrangeable. The words small, medium, and large are words that can be put in order. That level of measurement where we can find some order to the words is the ordinal level. A, B, C, D, F are letter grades. Those are considered to be in an order from A to F. Sometimes we'll have systems like stars to rate a particular movie or a book. 
or a particular uh, object for sale on Amazon or a particular app might have a number of stars. The star system is an ordinal system, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, but it does begin to border on a numeric system and at the ordinal level it is possible to have numbers. Numbers can always be put in order so anything that you can attach a number to can be ordered and can be considered to be the ordinal level. The next level is the interval level. The interval level is a level at which you have typically numbers and you have usually countable number of outcomes and they're often discrete. At the interval level there are not usually fractions. An example might be the marbles. There really isn't such a thing as a fractional marble, setting aside the possibility of a broken marble. There's simply whole numbers of marbles. One marble, two marbles, three marbles. You couldn't really talk about 2.5 marbles as having any particular meaning because usually 0.5 of a marble is something that we would quite frankly throw away. We wouldn't keep it. I mean, you can imagine it would exist. But in general, when we play marbles, we're using whole marbles. Marbles are essentially an example of the interval level. There are some variables at the interval level, but there aren't a lot that we'll be working with. We don't often do data at the interval level because fractions do not have a meaning at the interval level, and in many cases the interval level doesn't have a meaningful zero. Sometimes it does, zero marbles has a meaning, but it, does, it doesn't always have a, a meaningful zero. At the ratio level, there are meaningful ratios. Zero exists and has meaning. Ratios exist and have meaning at the ratio level. At the ratio level, we have continuous numeric data. We usually also have an uncountable number of outcomes. It's continuous. For example, the flower or the water. There is no individual units, so we can talk about a half a cup of tea, a quarter cup of tea, an eighth of a cup of tea. We can keep on dividing it down into smaller and smaller fractions without end. Racial level data can be characterized by statistics such as the average. The average often has a fraction attached to it, and fractions are ratios. So there are four levels of measurement. And a lot of this course will work at the ratio level of measurement, because at the ratio level we can talk about fractional values. Many things we measure, like distance, height, speed, velocity, time, altitude, things like acceleration and mass, they all are ratio level measurements. The number of outcomes may depend on how accurate our instrument is to how many decimal places we can measure. But in theory, at least, there is an uncountable number of possible lengths, an uncountable number of possible areas, volumes, depending on just how accurate your instruments are in measuring it. And so at the ratio level, we have an infinite number of possible outcomes, a continuous number of possible data values. Each level will have certain statistics that we can associate with it. At the nominal level, we'll only be able to talk about a sample size, how many there are. At the ordinal level, we can talk about a sample size, uh, and we can uh, talk about the order in which the data appears. We can frequently talk about a most frequently occurring value at both the nominal and the ordinal level. We'll come to that in a future section. At the interval level, we'll be able to talk about a median value, a minimum, a maximum, and a range. And at the ratial level, when we're dealing with something that's finely divided, such as the flour or the tea, we'll be able to talk about the median, the mean, the standard deviation, and a number of other statistical measures that we'll meet 
in the future. These terms are also covered and defined in the book, which will be linked in the description below. Today we looked at qualitative and quantitative data. We looked at discrete and continuous. And I described four levels of measurement that will determine what sort of statistics we can calculate. Nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio.